Welcome to Street Talk. I am your host, Loretta Rose. Today we have a very special guest. She's going to be on today's show sharing with us about a 5K run that is taking place in Russell County, and it is the very first that we've ever had in this district. Stay tuned. You're watching Street Talk with Loretta Rose here on cable TV. Thank you again for tuning in to today's show. As I promised, we have a very special guest, and she is such a beautiful lady. Welcome, Belinda Strickland. Thank Hello. you so much. Hi there. <laughs> it's very nice to be here. I'm so thankful that you brought me on today. Absolutely. It's a blessing to be here with you. I feel the same way. I feel <laughs> like we have been connected for a very long time. And, uh, and actually, this is our first time meeting. It is. Well, I am so excited about this wonderful event because it is the in Agra event that has taken place. And for those that are listening, you probably have never seen this happen, but you're going to be the beginning of history in the making. So Belinda, um, it's a 5K run that is coming up and mm -hmm. we're just jumping right into it. It is going to be Veterans Day weekend. Absolutely it is. It's gonna be that Saturday at, 9 a at 8 a.m. in the morning. And um, we're kind of a little, you know, anxious about it because it is our first time out <laughs> the gate doing it. And but we're hoping to have a lot of participants come. It's very different, especially since not only is it the first time it's ever happened, but the fact that it's actually being ran through di two different facilities. Now, being able to run through the actual National Historic Site, which is part of the Indian Heritage Center also out on 165, is gonna bring a lot of influx of people that we hope will enjoy the run through the beautiful scenery, but actually get a little feel of the history that's happened here in Russell County. So we're excited about that part. And then the second half is that as you're running through the race, you're gonna actually jump over to the other side to the actual Fort Mitchell National Military <sighs> Cemetery. Now, that is what makes it so special because this has never been done. Oh, wow. Because it's not normal at all to even let one runner ever run through the national cemeteries. Wow. So we were able to work very closely with the director at the cemetery and get the paperwork pushed through all the way up uh, to the Pentagon and get it approved because they were very excited at having, you know, people, participants come in and to do a joint program with the Russell County Historical Society and because it's also part of the Creek Nation. Mm. So we're hoping that it's going to be a brand new event that will bring in a lot of a lot of people that are going to have yes, fun that day absolutely. and hopefully it'll continue on you wow. know, for years to come. Well, where did the inspiration of this event come from? You know, that's kind of interesting because it was kind of a funny conversation that I was having with a really good friend of mine, um, Rick Chancy. And, you know, he's a huge runner, by the way. And I used to be a large runner. And we were just kind of talking about needing to do runs and some of the events and all the different committees that I'm belonging to right now. And one of them being the Russell County Historical Society. And, you know, he's like, we need to get a run together. And I think that when he was saying it, he meant, yeah, sure, that sounds cool, but I'm the kind of person that you know, when I kind of start getting an idea with you that it blossoms into something and it becomes a train running down the tracks. Wow. And next thing you know, I'm out like no problem. And I just started contacting everybody and pushing paperwork and just being wow, me, you wow. know? And I think he's been a little bit shocked at the fact <laughs> that um, I call him back every once in a while and say, hey, guess where we're at now? And he's like, whoa. So he's very excited to see wow. that this is is going down, that it's, and, it's and, happening. And you seem very passionate about it. Um, for those that are watching and they don't know you personally, mm -hmm. you're a retired military. I am, absolutely, yep. Uh, actually, it's kind of a unique career because I had a mixture of Navy and Army, mm -hmm. which is, makes it a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Um, and actually I enjoyed my career. Both services was absolutely wonderful. Wow. 
Uh, you know, and I still believe in, you know, pro-military all the way. Both of my kids have actually, one, my son did a little bit of Navy time, my daughter did a little bit of Army time, and we're all wow. Army all the way back. Wow, so. wow, wow. And you are a law student. I am, I am. You know, when I got out of the military, um, you're used to a high-paced lifestyle. And mm -hmm. I was always running around, managing projects, and just constantly on the go. And so the first thing I did before I went into the law school arena is I ended up working as an engineer, a field engineer for a company, General Dynamics, mm -hmm. large corporation, and spent time flying all over the world. Wonderful. Wow. But the problem is, is I spent my entire life mm -hmm. living out of airports and oh. hotels and rental cars. And um, it just finally came to a point that things needed to slow down and stop. Wow. And I decided to change everything. Wow. And, you know, it's one of those things where I always tell people that no matter how old you are, you can change your life. Yes. You can be anything you want to be. Wow. And I just stopped what I was doing. You know, IT, telecommunications, I'm, you know, the geek of all wow. time, and decided I'm going to go back to college. And I went to Auburn University. I changed a few times there from majors from microbiology to veterinary science, looking for my happiness. Wow. and. In the end, I went with political science and decided to become a lawyer. So I completed my bachelor's there at Auburn and transferred down to Faulkner University in Montgomery, part of Jones School of Law. Mm -hmm. um, it's a wonderful Christian university, and I actually graduate May of 2020 with wow. my law degree. Wow, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. I love the fact, you know, that's an inspirational story because I think I remember you and I were talking about how I can attest to living out of a suitcase in the airport. Some yeah. nights I had to sleep in the airport, right. being a flight attendant. And this was before I had children, so this is like 20 plus mm -hmm. years ago. And I love the fact how you said, uh, you really reinvented <laughs> your career. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you invent, reinvented yeah. your career. But you know what, that's very powerful. And it's very profound yeah. because someone may be watching and you are, um, a testimony of what the possibility is of yeah. Change. following that. That's you know, right. that's amazing. I love that. You're blessing me, girl, <laughs> <laughs> and those that are watching as well. Wow, we're going to take a break and then we're going to come back and we're going to tell you a little bit more about how you can get involved in this 5K run that is taking place and it's never been done and it's in Russell County. I love it. History in the making. We're on Street Talk with Belinda Strickland. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? All right, Belinda. Oh, thank you so much. And it's Veterans Day Warrior Run. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Coming up very soon, so we want you to be a part. Okay, so people probably wanted to know how can they get involved. Um, what's the first step? Okay, well, if you actually want to run the race, then you're going to, there will be flyers that are actually being posted everywhere along with phone numbers and websites. Mm -hmm. So they can actually go out to the website and it's eStartLine dot com and they can actually go through big dog running company downtown in oh, columbus yeah. they're good too. and they're wonderful oh, yeah. they do so many great races and runs mm -hmm. and it's just they've been a blessing to even have them being involved with us but you could actually just go down to their place you could register there yeah. from the flyers 
Um, you could go online at eStartLine.com and register there. Or if you actually hear word of mouth mm -hmm. and you see a flyer or you just want to call me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but definitely that's how you would register to, mm -hmm. to actually do the race okay. itself. Um, another part for being involved would be through sponsorships. And we are looking for sponsorships so that all the proceeds that we get are actually being divided in half. And half of it is going to the Fort Mitchell National Cemetery. And even though they're a government agency, they themselves don't need the funding, but it's the other little volunteer organizations that do, like the Wreaths Across America, the little group that you see all the time when you drive through there and you see flags on 4th yes. of July. That's all being provided by volunteers. Yes. And so we're gonna take the money, divide it in half and give half of it to them so they could do more for the cemetery. And then the other half of the money is going directly to the actual Fort Mitchell historical site so they can help maintain the facility facility, maybe add in a more, more facilities that need to be done or upgrade some of the statues and the other historical monuments that they have. Wow, so this is actually a charitable <laughs> event. 100%. And so all proceeds goes to support things that are happening here in our community. I think that is so phenomenal. That is such a blessing. Thank you. Wow, there's no age requirement? Not at all. Actually, you can show up as a mom pushing a stroller yeah. and your, you know, and your puppy on get your leash. Get your walk on, get your run on. <laughs> That's exactly I've seen it. that happening. <laughs> oh, wow. And volunteers. What about volunteers? Um, actually, if you are interested in volunteering, you can still contact us or contact me at my phone number, which is 480-387-1119. Okay. You can absolutely call or text me. Um, you can also uh, leave a note down over at Big Dog Running Company. Uh, so a lot of the things are actually um, being supplied by the local community and actually the Russell County Historical Society themselves. Also, we have some volunteers already in place coming out of some of the f local fire departments. Mm -hmm. nice. So, yeah, so we're ha hoping to have a, a lot of support from the community for this particular event. Wow. So, for those that are watching and they're probably trying to have a visual of it, the starting point, when you have this race, because, you know, I've been to quite a few of them as well, actually where are what is the starting point for this race? And then the, right. the finish line. Okay, we're actually going to start within the um, historical site center. So when you drive in through the main road, you'll, you'll, you'll notice there'll be flags getting okay. you right to the starting area. You'll end up running through the historical area, up through the um, Indian Creek monuments, mm -hmm. all the way back down to where the actual fort is, which has got an interesting story behind it, because mm. it's actually a fort that was built by the Georgia National Guard. Wow. I know, very unique here on this side of the Alabama River, but we'll run all the way back through there, through the entire facility. Uh, we're gonna then jump across to the other side. When we run through the actual cemetery itself, we're asking for it to be a moment of silence. Because it is a cemetery and we're honoring our veterans there, so it's just a quiet run and we'll come back through there and we'll end back up where we started at which we are going to be having a free lunch for everyone there. We're having, I know it's a run and we're supposed wow. to be healthy, but we're doing barbecue. Okay. It is the South. Hey, <laughs> that, you know we love it. <laughs> yes, and we love it. <laughs> so it's gonna be, a, I wow. think, a, yeah, an interesting event. You get a run, come back and eat. It's all included so in the are same you, price. So you're providing yes. the food. We wow. are providing, and it's not paid, you know, wow. when you pay for your entrance to be there, it's all provided, and of course, wow. you know, when you bring your kids with you, you know, you, right. they're eating for free also. Absolutely, because so. see, actually, this is the first one that, that I've heard where the food is provided, because normally there are vendors yes. there, and you go and make your purchases afterward. Hmm, that's pretty amazing. So what is the entrance fee? The entrance fee, if you do it before the deadline, which is October the 31st, is $25. Mm -hmm. And that's so that you can actually reserve your t-shirt because okay. they're being made with our cool little new logos, which, you know, may alter or change as it goes on. Um, but right now it's $25 before the 31st. After that, on race day, it's $30 actually when you register yes. at the table. Okay, so you can, you can register the day of. Yes, you just can. Just in case. Absolutely. You know, because I understand, you know, we're, we're a working community, yes. working moms, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, we wear so many hats. 
Wow. So all proceeds, as you know, it goes right back into the community, 100%. supporting 100%. Mm -hmm. And Berlinda, I'm going to ask this for my viewers, okay. because I'm pretty sure I have some that want to ask this question, because okay. I've asked this question many times before. <laughs> Do you necessarily have to be a runner? Because I don't, no. I don't have it like that, girl. <laughs> yes, you do. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. <laughs> no, you, you, you really need to see her head <laughs> to toe. You. Because when I saw her, because today is our first time meeting, I was like, are you a runner? She said, it's just genetics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. I do not run. I used to run a long time ago, but it's been a long time. So, no, you don't have to be a runner. I mean, you could walk it, slowly jog okay. it, start and finish it. Yes. That's what it's all about yes. is just being there to represent the community and yes. just to be a part of something of yes. us that's brand new and to show your support for, you know, the history of our area along with the veterans who have fought for the history wow. that we even have. Absolutely. So Absolutely. we're hoping to that's see everybody. That's the run. It is. That, or the walk. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> because when, when I was at Fort Benning, I go and do one annually at Fort Benning. Don't do a whole lot of running. <laughs> but um, this gentleman told me, and my friend Bob Jesswalk, um, he's a meteorologist, he told me it's all about just starting the process. You can walk your way through, but when you make it to the finish line, yeah. you know, just keep that in mind. You've done it. It's done. That's You've it. done it. And, and it's all for a great cause. Mm -hmm. Wow. So tell us about sponsors. Um, you have some sponsors already, and they're open for more sponsors. And this is your opportunity to be a part of this as well. And like I said, this is history in the making. So you have some sponsors already? We do. We have a couple of different local um, restaurants in the area. That's why the food is being handled. Okay. Uh, 13th Street Barbecue has stepped up to the plate to go ahead and donate the food for it. So we're very oh. grateful, grateful for that. Um, and of course, my I got to be honest with you, when I started doing this, I had to ask my husband and say, hey, and of course, wow. the Strickland Tree Service is obviously sponsoring it also. And that's her husband that, again. And that is my <laughs> husband. Um, so we have some other sponsors at the time right now that will be posted up on okay. flyers and that are going to be um, on the t-shirts, but we're really looking to go out to the community and grab more of them mm -hmm. because this is new for me to learn how to actually do a 5k run and one of the things that I was told is that you know when you've got the registration fees coming in well all that ends up going back to paying for the t-shirts and all the other things that you mm -hmm. provide what really brings in the money for the charity is the actual sponsors mm -hmm. these are the people that are going to make a difference yeah, and so we've got it set up with a local screen printer a and j screenwriter mm -hmm. screen printers excuse me mm -hmm. over in Columbus and what it is is they're going to take the particular logo whether it's your company name or the image of your logo if you sponsor and they're going to place it on the back of the t-shirt oh. along with depending on the level of sponsorship you do we could add it to the flyers we could add it to the little packets when you actually come to register or the day of when you get your t-shirt we put a little promo card if you have those in there so we're going to help plug their businesses wow. greatly That's so definitely we're hoping to get a lot of help from the that community for wonderful. this so you have to reach out to Belinda Strickland um, and be able to find out how you can become a sponsor as well. Also, we want to encourage students, schools, because Absolutely. this is, we've got Russell County High School, they are warriors. <laughs> <laughs> and um, because I've seen schools that came out and participated as well, track teams and things of that nature. And I think it'll be a great collaboration um, for us as a community to just come together. And then at the same time, we're promoting fitness. We are, mm. absolutely. We're promoting fitness. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a break and we're gonna come back and close out the show. And also we're gonna reiterate the um, contact information so you can be a part, again, pass this on. When you see this online or locally, share it, pass it on. This is good news that's taking place right here in our community. You're watching it here on cable TV. I never get the flu. My kids don't need more shots. I don't have time. We're all healthy. My asthma's under control. But I'm pregnant. I've had the flu before. It's not a big deal. My kids are too old for flu. The media is exaggerating. I can fight it naturally. My diabetes, it's under control. No matter how you build your excuses, the flu can blow your house down. I can't believe I used up all my sick time. I missed a week of school during finals. 
Now my baby has it because of me. The hospital? Death? Keep your foundation strong. Vaccinate. Learn more at flu.gov. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Thank you again for tuning in to today's show. We are about to get ready to wrap up the show. And Belinda Strickland, you have been just a tremendous joy. <laughs> Thank you. Ad. So have you. <laughs> I, I really enjoy your company. And I want you to meet her as well. This is going to be great. Um, again, we're going to let the people know how can they contact you. All right. Well, please contact me at my phone number at 480-387-1119. And you can call or text me. You can also email me at Belinda M. Strickland. Okay at gmail.com. I will get back with you Beautiful. as soon as possible. And that's if you're interested in sponsoring or volunteering. Yes. For any information, please contact me. And then for the actual registering, if you could contact through Big Dog Running Company, they're mm -hmm. putting up a site where you'll be able to register online for that. Absolutely, and they are very resourceful in the community. Actually, they're downtown Columbus as well. Um, so we'll have that information on there as well. Let's t let them know about awards because after all 5K runs, there's an award ceremony at the end. So tell us about how your awards will play all out. All right, exactly. Well, it, and this one's gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna add a little extra feature to it. So first for the normal side, we're gonna still do the first, second, third place mm -hmm. awards for the winners. Um, we're also going to have them for the different age groups along for even like the little kids that are out there doing their little effort. Everybody gets something kind of a thing. So we want everybody to walk away with a nice smile on their face when they go. Um, we are also, believe it or not, included when you register and show up, you'll get a raffle ticket. Mm -hmm. And we have different sponsors out there that are being that are donating actual gifts, very nice prizes that we're just going to do raffles wow. and just give them away for free and just kind of make it a little bit different. This is more, it's a 5K run in the traditional sense, but at the same time, it's kind of like a, a social party gathering wow. event. Oh, you know? yes, I so, love it, definitely. I love it. And I love your energy. Thank you. You're gonna <laughs> love it too. Now, also you have something coming up in November and we wanna share with the community as well. Um, let everyone know about it. All right, and this is a whole other unique charity event that's occurring. This is November the 16th, that very following Saturday. Okay. And this is actually my husband, Jimmy Strickland from Strickland Tree Service. And you've seen his sign around town. <laughs> Probably his TV <laughs> commercial. And commercials. Uh, but um, it, so he came up with this great idea about, you know what, let's do a turkey shoot. They don't wow. have one in Fort Mitchell. Wow. Never seen really? one in our area. No, it's insane. Well, insane for sure. Right, <laughs> so he th he's decided he's gonna run with this, so that's his wow. event. Wow. So Strickland Tree Service is going to do a turkey shoot and it's going to be at the Fort Mitchell Volunteer Fire Department. Awesome. And we've all seen them down on 165 on the right hand side. They got that beautiful new little playground and the basketball court and all the other things that they're trying to you know, help the community and help the children mm, with. Yes, so yes. Jimmy thought let's have an event wow. down there. And again, um, he is actually working to fit the cost himself and all the money that gets d gets paid in for the actual um, individuals that are entering into it, all of those um, monies and donations go directly back to the volunteer fire wow. department. And then part of it goes back to the Russell County Historical Society. Wow, Jimmy, you have been such a generous person in the community. We gotta help back you up on this one because this is giving back to the community yes. and you all are changing the whole dynamics of Fort Mitchell. Thank you. And But it starts one vessel at a time. Yeah, there's a lot of wonderful, wonderful people wow. out there doing it and I making love changes. It. And, I love and it. We're just digging wow. in deep with everybody else wow. to make it better. Well, I want to do my part. Anything I can do. Thank you. And we're so glad to have met you and become a part of your Thanks, life. Thanks, girl. <laughs> you gonna make me cry. <laughs> See, this is what's happening when you meet Belinda. And I am so honored to meet her. And I also wanna thank um, Victor also as well and um, for sharing you with me. 
Because <laughs> Me you, too. <laughs> I, we said we're friends for life. Um, again, please come out and support it. All proceeds goes right back into the community. Also, we want to get our youth involved as well. Russell County High School, Central High School, please. The, the students will love it. Yes. Because when I, every each one that I've done, and when students and schools were involved, the students love it. They love it, and they and they were carry it on as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. They were carrying it on. So thank you again for sharing this good news in the community. It is Veterans Day Warrior 5K run that is taking place Veterans Day weekend, the Saturday before Veterans Day. You got to come out, support it, be a part. And also November 16th, the turkey shoot also support it. <laughs> it is for a great cause. Yeah. You've been watching Street Talk with Loretta Rose. Remember this, life is all about what you make it. That what you put out, it will come back. Have a blessed one. Thank you. You've been watching it here on cable TV.